This is a huge, huge week for the markets as we await CPI data, which comes up here on Thursday, October 13th. We'll get that released at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. So I want to talk about what this data will show us, why it's so important, and why all eyes will be on the crypto market and all of the markets at large this week as we get inflation numbers. Now, the data that we'll get on October 13th, this Thursday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern, will be inflation data from September. So whenever we get these reports, it's always from the previous month. Of course, inflation has not come down significantly at all since uh, interest rates have been hiked. We're really waiting to see if we can get uh, this thing lowered while raising these rates. I mean, we need to see something here on Thursday that indicates that the rates uh, you know, being hiked are working, right? Uh, if we don't expect more pain in the markets. Now, in the last 24 hours, of course, ahead of CPI numbers this week, we are down a little bit in the overall crypto market. Let me bounce over and show you that uh, here just briefly. We are down slightly, not even a full percentage point. The crypto uh, global market cap is sitting at $937 billion, But Bitcoin has tumbled uh, here in the past seven days, as you can see here, we'll go to the seven day. You can see here uh, on the seventh, we got a big sell off. And then again here on the eighth, uh, and we were up over 20,000 for most of the week. Uh, in fact, we even hit uh, almost up to uh, 20,400 uh, 20, here a couple different times. Now we're back down to 19,300 because all eyes are on the CPI data. Now, if we get a good CPI report, and it doesn't even have to be that good. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. We don't need some groundbreaking earth shattering report that you know changes uh changes everything we just need a, some good news we, we just need some type of good news and some good indication that inflation is coming down if we get something like that i could expect us to see a nice little pop in the price of bitcoin ethereum and some of the other top altcoins however i'm not expecting it I, i'm not you know i'm not sitting here saying uh, you know, load up right now and, and everything's going to be fine when we come, you know, to Thursday or Friday. However, when you're looking at some of these price points, you know, there are some great opportunities to dollar cost average. If you're playing the long game, this is just my opinion, by the way. Uh, this is how I'm looking at the markets right now with Bitcoin at 19.3 and Ethereum at 1300. To me, these are great price points to DCA. And we've had these numbers for a while. BNB's back down below 275. The only asset, uh, one of the only assets up there, XRP, is still in the green. It's up nearly 15% on the week. But look at Cardano. It's getting down to that yearly low, guys. We're going we're gonna to pay close attention to this. Right now, it's at 41 cents. That's a great, great price target, in my opinion, to DCA. Uh, look at Polygon still hanging in there in the last 24 hours. We're still up a little bit there. Shiba Inu, though, look at this. Back to four zeros and 10. To me, great opportunity to DCA long term here. Uh, take a look at Chainlink. This is one I've talked a little bit more about recently. There's a lot of chatter about Chainlink. This thing is way down from its all-time high. It's a great asset. Uh, it's number one in oracles. They uh, really are a link, right? pun intended here, to so many different crypto projects. Uh, look at Algorand. It's slowly coming down at $0.33. Cents. If this thing dips down below 30 sign me up. That's a great entry point there. Uh, Terra Classic is a bright spot here in the market as well. It's up 4%. Uh, Quant is starting to tumble a little bit. I'm keeping an eye on that. I'd like to add that if it dips. Uh, but so many opportunities out here across the board, guys, um, if we're playing the long game here, if we're playing the next decade in the crypto market and in stocks, for example, right? I mean, look at Tesla. It's down 27% in the last month. Apple, Amazon. I mean, some of the top com uh, companies in the world are getting decimated with these overall market conditions. But again, it provides us great opportunities to DCA and play the long game. This is where many, many people make their millions. I mean, right here, times like this. So keep that in mind. We'll keep you up to speed on CPI data. We'll have it for you on Thursday. We'll talk about it, what it means, uh, break it down, see if it's good, bad, maybe somewhere in the middle. I'm expecting it to be kind of like blah. I don't think it's going to be great. I don't think it's going to be terrible. I think we're going to see a slight decrease uh, in inflation. At least that's my thought right now, uh, but we'll see. Thank you all so much for popping in. Don't forget to hit the like button down below, subscribe for more content, and uh, we'll be here for you every single day, bringing you up to speed. See ya.